It ain't like a top from the wander smoke monster. This is top of the fish, and you know how that shit goes. Oh my god, the monster! That is a monster, you know. Yeah, the lure goes up the line, guys. That way it doesn't get in the way of fighting the fish. So, hopefully it'll jump right here in front of you. And I'll bow to the king, and all you have to do is shake the hook. He doesn't shake the lure and lodge himself. The only way you can get away now is kind of cut me off somehow, but it's not because he's getting unloose. This is how um, he's he's jumped a lot, but now he's trying to conserve energy. There he goes. Let's see, he comes up. Looks like a face grab for you guys because it's a big fish. It's a big fish. Stuff right here in the middle that way he doesn't get in the bushes and stuff like that a couple of minutes in. he almost went in the trees cut me off in the trees it's also important to see how I point the the rod at. it gives it a little bit of flex get a little bit of uh, room that way you can't snap your line you're all fishing with a lot of hard, a tight drag, right? So if you don't give any flex, his head shake is so violent, they can actually snap the leader. I've seen that happen to a couple of times with my colleagues, you know? River, which is good. It's always an adventure. Going up the river. The river is not too tight. Uh, it's right next to the boat. I'm gonna try to not go in the back so I can be in the camera frame. Usually I run around the back, but I'll stay right here to be in the camera frame. As you can see, you can see it's a pretty good size to fish. Yeah. Open air, which is a good sign, meaning he's uh, he's getting a little tired. I want to go some oxygen. I'm trying to keep the pressure the opposite side blown bubbles. I'm trying to keep the, the pressure the opposite side of trying to swim. He basically landed, guys. This is a freaking over 100 pound fish. He basically he's next to the side of the boat. This is the most crucial part to face and grab a fish. It's not easy. A uh, fish this freaking big. He's very violent. He's fighting to the death, as you can see. So one of the good thing about having a bait cast, you can vary the drag too. On a spinning rod, you can palm it, yes. But, oh, you can palm it, yes. You can palm it, but a thumb if you get a little more control. One more control, and you can cast it way better. 50 pound braid, about 80, 90 pound liter. Floral carbon, especially, because when, when they get eaten, the toast tail mullet is inside of the mouth. So, you don't want too thin of a leader. It's not a circle hook, we're not fishing crabs. Inside of the mouth. So you want to leave that, that last a long time. Yo! There's no mangroves here, thankfully, for him to go underneath of. They're not like snook fighting. They're gonna, they're gonna do what they're gonna do.
There he is. He don't like the sight of me for sure. He's gonna go on the other side, put your rod down on the bottom, that way you don't get cut off in the trolling motor. Now you're back to the other side. That's how you fight a fish. And uh, I like to get down on this level. It serves two purposes. I get a little better center of gravity, less pressure on my back, especially on a fish like this. And I'm in better in the camera frame. But if I'm standing up, if I'm standing up, it's not gonna be as uh, it's less tiring. As you can see, the fish is right there, the mullet's right there. If I wanted to, I can in theory just grab my mullet, cut them off, we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do now, do a face grab and uh, take my, my hook back. Let them free. This is a good fish. Try to take a couple of pictures on social media. Go. All right, guys, the fish is done. So what I'm gonna do now is attempt to take the hook out of him, right? He's not gonna be happy with that. As you can see, he's still pretty strong considering how, how weak he is. As you can see, even though they're pretty much done, they still got plenty of freaking energy left. <laughs> and I don't wanna, you know, kill myself right here on camera with the braid tangled on my neck. You seen the engine? No. He's not trying to go down. He's trying to swim away. <laughs> Jesus, you still have energy? How can you have energy? It's a big fish. <laughs> Try to take the hook out still. Going up river, trying to go beyond. It should be good. I'm gonna grab him right here. Get a gunnel. Let a lower center of gravity for me. I don't want to brute force him too much because. The mullet's still in the mouth. Let me grab the mullet. Brutal. Brutal. That's why they call him Silver King. These bastards never give up. Even next to the boat. Got my hands on him. You can what? <laughs> I'll let you go, buddy. I'm just getting my hook back. Okay? I just want my hook back and you can go. You can be home free. Home free. Is that good? Alright, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. Almost there. Did it. Post tail mullet, baby. Post tail mullet landed about 120 pound fish. Still got my hook. Still got my hook. See that? Hook didn't jump off at all. Works great. Bye bye.